Hey guys, it's Tina and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a role of recreating older videos of mine and one of the popular videos I have on my channel is the one where I show you do's and don'ts for how to make your lies, your lies, for how to make your eyes look larger. So I thought I would recreate it today, I've added a few little tips as well and you can check that one out if you want to, I'm going to link it in the cards but um, this one is going to kind of include everything that I show there plus some, some more new tips and tricks I can talk today. So I've changed this video a little bit for do's and don'ts for making your eyes look larger versus making your eyes look smaller as well. So if you want to make your eyes look smaller, this video is for you as well. Before we get started, I just want to say that this is just makeup and it washes off at the end of the day and it's just for just to have fun and maybe boost your confidence a little bit more. If you have large eyes and you want to make them look even larger, then use the tips from this video. If you have small eyes and you love them and you want to make them look smaller, then do that. If you want to change your eyes from looking smaller to look bigger or from big to small, just do anything you want. And a lot of people get offended when I'm saying this is how you can change the shape of anything on your face. Guys, it's just makeup, it's just for fun, you don't have to do whatever I'm showing here, of course you don't have to, I'm not saying you shouldn't embrace yourself or your features and just love yourself the way you are, I'm just showing you how you can change something a little bit until the end of the day, until you wash it out, just to have some fun, you know? And if this is something that will boost your confidence and make you feel prettier, then why not? It's just colors, it's just makeup. Also, on my previous video about um, do's and don'ts for hooded eyes, um, a lot of you guys loved that I, the fact that I didn't mention what products I'm using and you said that it lets you focus more on the technique than rather than the product itself. So I'm not going to be mentioning any of the products that I'm using today, but I want you to know that if you want to know um, any specific product that I'm using today, let me know in the comments below and I will answer your question and I will let you know what I'm using. So yeah. So if you want to learn how to create the illusion of a bigger or a smaller eye, then just keep watching. Okay, so for those of you who are looking to make their eyes look larger, this eye is going to be your do's and this one is going to be your don'ts. Um, excuse the cheap nail. And for those of you who are looking maybe to make their eyes look smaller, then this one is going to be your do's and this one is going to be your don'ts. Again, there's no right or wrong for makeup. These are just some tips to make um, the shape of your eye look a little bit different for one day. So first of all, you want to use a primer, no matter if you want to make your eyes look larger or smaller. This will just um, keep the eyeshadow on all day long and prevent it from creasing. So I'm just using my finger to apply the eye primer all over my lid. Again, if you have any questions about the products that I'm using, just let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to let you know what I'm using. For the side with the eye that we're going to make larger, I'm going to take a transition shade and a soft blending brush and I'm going to apply that to my crease. This is going to recede the crease a little bit because it's like highlighting and contouring your eye. So any place where you applied a darker shade is going to make it look receded and kind of going inwards. And any place where you apply um, a lighter shade is going to bring it forward and make it pop. I'm also going to take the same transition shade under the eye. Because to make your eye look larger, you really want to focus all around the area of the eye and actually you want to take the colors a little bit further outwards and kind of expand the eye area because if you keep all of the colors really close to the eye that will make the area of the eye look a little bit smaller and if you're looking to uh, bring attention to your eye and make it look larger then you really want to drag the colors upwards and downwards under the eye as well so don't be afraid to um, use a larger fluffy brush under your eye if you are looking to make it look larger because that is going to expand the area of the eye downwards, sorry, because this will expand the eye area and just make it look larger all around. Then I'm going to take a lighter shade and apply that all over the lid. That way it will make the lid pop, it will bring attention to the eyelid and make it look larger so that way you're emphasizing the contrast between the crease and the eyelid so the eyelid is brought forward with the light shade and then the crease is receded 
I'm also going to apply a light shade under my eyebrow. This will make the eyebrow pop, the brow bone pop. It will make it um, look like it goes forward a little bit. And also on the very inner corner of the eye. Now when you brighten the inner corner of the eye and eliminate that whole shadow that's on the inner corner of the eye and connecting to the bridge of the nose, then you're open up you open up the area of the eye and this is really helping to make the eye look a little more open and awake. I also like to take a little more shimmery or frosted shade on the inner corner and under the tear duct. That really opens up the eye, brings attention to it, draws attention to it and makes it look kind of bigger and brighter. So for this eye I'm going to take a darker shade and I'm going to apply it all over the lid up to the crease and stop at the crease area. Now if you remember, darker shadows make the uh, area where you apply them look a little bit more receded. So this is going to close the eye area and you can see that here you can actually see the lid and it pops up and brings, uh, brings it forward as opposed to this side where because we're applying a darker shade it kind of closes up the lid area and makes it look smaller. Avoiding applying any color of eyeshadow on your crease or applying a light shade there is going to make your eye look a little bit more hooded. If you have hooded eyes um, this is going to emphasize the hood and you can check out my um, do's and don'ts for hooded eyes and you can see that I'm doing the same thing there. So this is going to close the eye because it's going to bring this area forward, your crease, and it's going to kind of um, all, almost fall on top, give the illusion that it falls on top of your actual eyelid, and then the eyelid looks space looks a lot smaller because it's darker. Now on this eye, I've applied a darker shade that actually um, kind of dragged the eye, expanded it, a little bit downwards and upwards. For this eye, I'm going to apply a lighter shade right under my lower lash line. And because light shades bring any areas forward, this will bring forward the under eye area and it actually will close the eye a little bit because this um, will just bring this area forward and upwards and it just closes the eye. Here we applied a light shade on the very inner corner of the eye and the bridge of the nose because that's what opens up the eye. So here on this side I'm actually going to apply a darker shade right here on the inner corner and that is going to close the eye a little bit more and make it look more narrow. On this side I'm going to take a little bit of a darker shade and apply it on the very outer corner of the eye and swoop it upwards. This will lift up the eye, make an illusion of a little bit more of a cat eye effect and also drag the eye area a little bit outwards on this outer corner as well. And again, expand the eye area that we're focusing on. Black liner closes the eye a little bit more. Anything dark closes the eye area. So I'm going to use for this eye a dark black um, pencil on my waterline that will narrow down the eye, um, the actual eyeball space or this area and it's going to close the eye. I'm also going to use a little bit on my upper lash line just gonna messily line the upper line I'm stopping right there because I don't want to extend the eye area with a wing. So I'm stopping right um, at the outer corner of the eye. And this dark shade really closes up the eye and makes it look a little bit smaller. If you want to open up your eye, then you want to use a light shade, um, a white or a nude pencil on your waterline. That is going to extend the um, whites of your eye and make your eye look more open, a lot larger and brighter.
If you want to make your eyes look larger, then I would recommend to curl your lashes. That will really open up your eyes because it will um, lift up your lashes away from your eye and really extend them upwards. And that way it will make your eyes look a little bit more open. And I'm going to apply a generous coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Avoiding applying mascara or applying it very close to the roots of the lashes is going to make your eye look a little bit smaller because it will give the illusion like sorry my battery just died because it will give the illusion that you don't have um, lashes almost or they are very um, straight and short shirt straight and short and um, that way it will close up your eye a little bit more also avoiding applying mascara on the bottom lash line will also make your eyes appear a little bit smaller and more um, closed. Applying false lashes can make your eyes look a little bit more open, especially big wispy ones like the Ardell Wispies. It will just expand the eye area even more and bring attention to your eyes. So I haven't applied any eyeliner in this eye because we want the lid to show between the lashes and the crease area and not like here that it really covers the whole lid area. So that's it for this video guys, I really hope you enjoy it and that you find it helpful. Um, obviously I changed up my makeup, I wouldn't film an intro and outro with one eye bigger than the other, that would be funny. But anyway, check out my previous video of that if you want to, I'm also going to link some more related videos in the cards, I always do that, so always make sure to check out the cards, I believe it's the little eye circle right there. Also check out the description box for um, links to all of my social media accounts and make sure to follow me. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a video, which is twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays. And I'm going to talk to you all on Tuesday. Bye.